Right, so shred the uh, the old spring greens up, nice and nice and fine. Then you don't need to blanch them because I can't be because I'm not a massive fan of blanching vegetables. <laughs> I'm going to chuck chuck those greens in there and just let them uh, let them cook down. Right, garlic sauce. Okay, so this is ticked over for about a quarter of an hour or so, just until the garlic is uh, nice and soft. I'm going to shove that through there, and basically you get all that, all that nice sort of garlic puree in the finished sauce. Now, as I said, it is quite acidic. Uh, if it's, it tastes it at the end, if it is too acidic, you can just, just let it down with a touch of cream, just to kind of mellow it out. Mm. Those spring greens are coming down nicely. Right, check the lamp. I think that's pretty much ready. Just get it on that plate just to rest. Because even though it's a good quality cut, you must still let it rest. Okay, so then you're left with the, um, the wild garlic sauce and the puree. So I'm pretty much ready to plate up. So there's my artichokes and the spring greens. I've chucked a couple of those, those cloves of garlic in there because you can eat those now. They're nice and soft. Got the lamb that has been resting. Just put those there. A little squeeze of lemon, just to, um, just to lift it. And then finally, I've got the wild garlic in there. Touch of cream, just to mellow it out. Touch more, and just to sort of, just to thicken it a touch. And that's pretty much it. You don't need a lot, just enough to to moisten the, um, the artichokes, and that's it. Welsh lamb chops with baby artichokes and some wild garlic sauce, so we're going to see what the diners think. Sophie, have you had time to, to try oh, that? Oh, I've had some artichokes. I love artichokes. Do you know? and, Yeah, this has got a lot of things that I'm massively into. Really? I love wild garlic as well, and you've just reminded me mm. that it's time to go out for a nice Absolutely. walk in my wild garlic spot. Yeah. What mm. do you think over there? I think it's really, really lovely, and I like the artichokes as well. Yeah, um, good. And can I say, this girl was saying she didn't really like artichokes. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So. Mm. No, they're, no, they're, they're mm -hmm. delicious. And I love the tarragon with the lamb. Because often you think of tarragon as being something you put with chicken, don't you? Yeah. It's, um, but yeah, it goes thanks. really well with the lamb. Good. The lamb is so tender, and it's, it contrasts beautifully with the coating. You can really f taste the herbs coming through. I think the wild garlic really works well because it's really subtle, subtle flavours. And you, just a hint of tarragon in there is fantastic. And the baby artichokes just match, be go beautifully with it. To make my seasonal lamb dish, you'll need a rack of lamb cut into chops and trimmed by your butcher. Pick up some fresh parsley, tarragon and a lemon, and make sure you have breadcrumbs, eggs and plain flour. For the garlic sauce, you'll need garlic, white wine, double cream, lamb stock and a few wild garlic leaves if you can find them. And serve with baby artichokes and spring greens. 